Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about setting up Toon Boom Harmony for paperless animation. Right now, as you can see, I have a lot of windows and I have a lot of tabs and buttons open. But actually, for paperless animation, I would not need all this open because inside Harmony, for every tab that is open, it actually does take a little bit of memory. And for every button that is open, it does actually load up into RAM. So we can actually go ahead and optimize the workspace for paperless animation using the tools inside Harmony to set it up for paperless animation and streamline it so that way we can do our work. What I see here is a lot of tabs that I don't need at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see what I can remove to just basically speed things up for my workflow. I will start removing tools that I don't need and setting up for tools that I do need. So let's take a look. I want to get rid of some tools and just keep the ones that I want. What I'd like to let you know is that when you're in paperless animation, you want to be focused on your character animation and your character motivation. Basically, you don't want to think about the software, so you need to set up Harmony the way that it feels natural to you. And I'm going to show you some tricks in order to set up your preferences, set up your workspace, and also set up keystrokes, at least for me, in my, in my feeling, to make it smooth and natural so I don't have to go around and touch buttons, I can just focus on the screen. So now the next step I want to do, and this is going to be tricky, but I want to go ahead and set up the preferences and set up the keyboard and shortcuts. So let's take a look at preferences first. I want to be in 12 field. Yes, that is okay. I don't need to have uh, WebCC. Now I have my levels of undo. And I want to keep my levels of undo a little bit low. So usually you have them at 100. I'm going to keep my levels of undo at 50. So that way it saves space. These options are okay. I want to make sure I have focus on view. Uh, mouse enter so I click mouse to enter I can go ahead and make sure I'm in my working space so I just want to be in sRGB this looks okay this is for the node view so I don't want to work in that let's go to open jail ah yes here we go So here in open geo mode, this is where I want to be to kind of make things better for performance. So I can go ahead and turn off some things that I don't need when I'm working at cutout or rigging that I can save performance for my paperless animation. Now over here, I want to keep these the same, which is my memory, my cache. And I want to optimize this just a little bit to go ahead and improve this so that way I can get the best performance out of my harmony just for frame by frame animation. So one thing I don't want to do is cycle my exposure on my X sheet. I'm going to turn this off because I want my X sheet not to cycle down but actually stay linear so that way I can do it. For this here we want to have north, south, east, west so that way we can communicate uh, to traditional animators so if there is a traditional animator working in Toon Boom Harmony, he may still be working on north, south, east, west, which is the traditional method instead of plus one, minus one. So just be careful. Um, talk to your team about it, but you can decide whether to work in traditional or digital methods, which is plus one, minus one, or north, south, east, west. You have a choice of making a flat toolbar that is over here, keeping it flat, I don't like to do that because I like to have my toolbar compressed unless I want to have the options here or the options here is um, touchable. So let's say for example I can keep that then all this menu items will come down to the bottom of the screen and if you don't have the screen space for that then you keep that off. So that is just to keep the screen space compact or if you want to have it all down then you can go ahead and have all this exposed all the way down and customize it. 
So that's a choice uh, what you want. For myself, I think this is okay. If I find that I need more tools or I want to customize these tools, then I will keep this option on. I will turn off safe seeing because this will affect my drawing performance. So I need to turn this off. I always keep safe seeing off. And of course my level of undo is down. 12 field by 12 field is okay. That's a square field. But if I need to work in 16 field, then I will go ahead and change this if I need to do it. Here, don't turn on undoable selections at the moment. You can go ahead and turn it on, but that will affect performance and I don't really need to undo my selections. I will turn this off so it just focuses on my brush strokes when I hit undo. One thing I want to do is go ahead and have a wash background and see planning mode. So if I want to have this, um, have a bit of a background wash then I can go ahead and add this in so let's say I want it uh, 10 or 15 percent background wash okay these options are okay I see no problem with them I guess if you want to have a um, like the feeling of putting paper on top of another paper then you can have this background wash setting at uh, 15 and we'll take a look at it when we start working on paperless animation the node view we want to keep the same just like before just this does not affect drawing the exposure sheet we keep like this the exposure sheet is fine okay over here this is our onion skin onion skin tools and I like to keep it colored so that way um, yeah they have a certain color to it So basically when I draw and I want my onion skin, I can go ahead and customize that uh, here. You say it's colored onion skin and then I will go ahead and give it the percentage of color for red and green. Here are some other tools to be aware of. So for my pencil and my eraser tool, I can keep them at the same size. So that way when I'm moving, I can go faster between my pencil and eraser. Then over here, if I want to have uh, crosshairs, or a brush tool that I can decide uh, either one. So I'm going to keep this here like this as a brush tool. These are my timeline tools. I will keep these the same. This is good. This is good. This is my sound. I'm going to turn on sound scrubbing so that way when I do lip sync, I can actually scrub my lips with my audio to basically make the sound correct. This is my sound scrubbing. This will allow me to move my mouse left and right to hear the sound of the audio voice. And then I can go ahead and do that. So for my OpenGL, I want to make sure this is optimized. So I, I turn this on here. That way I can get better performance for drawing. And over here, Depending on your graphics card, if you have an NVIDIA or not, you can turn this on and off for better performance. Also, I will turn off some other options, such as this one, for better performance. I will turn this on, but this was just an option for cutout animation for better performance. Okay, so it looks like these settings are good, and I like the way these are set up. So I will go to the next menu. This menu looks good. I do not need to enable this cache at the moment because I'm just going to focus on drawing frame by frame. These are the options from my last video courseware, which look good for this one as well. So I'll keep these the same. Definitely want to make sure my Win tablet is working. And also that I have Unicode for saving files on my Unicode system. And all the other items look to be just right. And then after this, the other two are just for effects, particles, uh, and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now after I finish setting it up, I'm going to have to save it here. i save it as Tim's Paperless Preferences, Tomb Boom Harmony. So that way, if I have any problem setting it up or any problem with my harmony, I can go ahead and save this and reload it back up. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And there you go. I have my preferences ready for Toon Boom Harmony. I go ahead and reset Harmony so that way the preferences are now set in.
There you go. Very, very fast. And so now that I streamlined Harmony for paperless animation, I would like to go ahead and set up my keyboard shortcuts to what I feel comfortable with.